Hello, this is Professor Bas Bloem of the uh, Radboud University Medical Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. I am strongly supportive of the EPDA campaign for a better sleep. Um, one of my main advices to residents in neurology uh, is to always treat the night. Um, better nights, better days is one of the favorite slogans I tell them. It's a common misconception that Parkinson's goes on holiday during the night. Uh, people need dopaminergic medication as much during the night as they need medication during the day. Without dopamine at night, people may have a whole series of problems ranging from sleep fragmentation, a disruption of the normal sleep rhythm, to difficulty turning in bed, which forces you to awake because you become painful and stiff, to nocturia, having to pee multiple times at night, which again disrupts your nighttime sleep, uh, and a range of other problems. So alongside the many, many other types of advice I could give, uh, the one advice I will give you here is to make sure that you have a form of continuous or long-term medication during the night. Um, levodopa controlled release uh, is one option. Some dopamine agonists have a longer half-life. They may come with certain side effects, but that's a balance you need to make with your physician. Um, or to take dispersible metopar at night when you awake. A typical event for people with Parkinson's is to wake up in the early morning, say 4 or 5 a.m., which is typically a sign of lack of dopamine. Taking some dispersible rapid-acting levodopa at night may help you to regain your sleep and get some extra quality hours, which will help you tremendously during the day. When people tell me they are sleepy during the day, excessive daytime sleepiness, that's invariably a sign that the nighttime sleep quality isn't well. And even though people may be in their bed with their eyes closed for eight or even more hours, it doesn't mean it's a high quality sleep. So make sure that you have dopaminergic medication during the night, uh, as much as you need that during the day. Uh, and that would be my main advice. Um, the other advice would be, if you have a sleep problem, this is only one of the many things you can do. There are at least 10, 12 treatable sleep problems at night. This is not a mini teaching course on sleep issues in Parkinson's. Um, so I've given you only one advice, but there are a host of things that can be done. So don't simply accept poor nighttime sleep and or excessive daytime sleepiness, but try to address it in a systematic fashion. And hopefully that will improve your nighttime sleep as well as the quality of life during the day.